In my report, I have explained the details on Zunigara's financial crisis along with a few personal recommendations on how Zunigara can sustain its operation. But in this video, we are going to understand the visitors' behavior and feelings towards Zunigara and perhaps help Zunigara to identify its core focus on further improvement and investment. My name is Mama Abid from hsm 2404 b and I've made a short survey on Google Form for this method. And in this survey form that I've prepared, Session A covers demographic profiles while Session B is a brief study on Zunigara's visitor where I've prepared 13 questions, a very simple question and we go through them very briefly. I have collected 50 respondents and most of them are aged between 19 to 24 years old with majority of them are female and students. Jumping into the first question, majority will last visit Zunigara at least few years ago and only 32% have been to Zunigara once. We can see here that people love going to Zunigara despite everything else. Going to the next question, to my surprise over how said the price is affordable, mainly because Zunigara is of a various animal uh, for them to see which is true because Zunigara has about 476 species under its care. Panda is seen to be the most looked forward to with over 13 counts followed by a tiger with 9 counts which is not a surprise since we have our very own Malayan tiger in Zunigara and the majority agree that giant panda conservation center in Zunigara is the main attraction so it's no surprise why a majority is excited to see panda the most so going to the satisfaction level cleanliness, facilities and infrastructure record the highest amount of dissatisfaction even when asked the most important thing Zunigara need to improve on, these two, these two still have the most votes. They gave many reasons like facilities are old and outdated, one even saw a tape with many flies, rubbish everywhere, and someone who has volunteered in Zunigara before said that there was a lot of trash not only in the cages but behind the scene as well. Cleanliness especially is supposed to be the basic care for any animal facility. Going into the question that I have specifically discussed in my written report, 90% have heard or read news on Zunigara's financial crisis, and majority have read at least a few times. This proves that this financial crisis faced by Zunigara is not something new to many of us, and have been lingering around for some time now. From this survey, we can see that the Giant Panda Conservation Center is an excellent investment by Zunigara. However, Zunigara should not let this conservation center take all the money alone and abandon other areas that require some funds too. From this survey as well, we can see a drastic drop in number of visitors since pandemic hit Malaysia last year. Zunigara should take this opportunity to improve the hygiene and time for repairs and refurbishment so that by the time visitors are coming back, uh, they get better experience and environment because people are already willing to pay over 40 ringgit per ticket already. So the best Zunigara can do now is to offer an experience that worth the ticket of the price. Even as seen in the last question, whether they are willing to visit Zunigara again in the future, 90% answered yes and when asked why, many said because they want to support our national zoo. So we can see here that many Malaysians actually care about the animals, so Zunigara should too. The animals deserve the best considering that the zoo is supposed to conserve all these species. On a more personal note, I have been to Zunigara three times before. With my last one was in 2019, I still remember how badly the situation was. Many parts were under construction, so many enclosures were not open. I also remember a lot of benches were full of bird poops. The only thing that I can actually uh, compliment was the giant panda conservation center. Do you know last year, we have lost one of our Malayan tiger cub in Zunigara? According to the news article, Melo is the only female from three siblings died of drowning. Yes, it's happened in the middle of an effort in Malaysia's tiger conservation. Logically, do you think this death of a critically endangered species in a conservation center is justifiable? I hope this video gives everyone a good insight on how much people actually care about Zunigara and all the lives in it. We are in a very difficult time. Let's hope that Zunigara is able to recover from this devastation inshallah. With that, I end my video here. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.